Oh, shit. Oh, no. I don't want to save over that. Ah, it doesn't matter. Who cares? Now then. It seems the voting has finished. Now then, let's see the results. What voting? What the hell are you talking about? Who will be chosen as the Blacken? Will you make the right choice or the dreadfully... Blah, 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 or the dreadfully wrong one? The hell you say Wait a second, what results? Voting time hasn't happened yet. Aww. Yes, it has. Don't you remember Manosuke? No, it hasn't. You're the one who doesn't remember, Montaro. Uh -oh. oh man, you're right. Silly me. I'm so forgetful. Yeah. Wow, I didn't expect you all to get so worked up over such a small lie. You guys are pretty gullible, huh? Now then. Well, anyways, let's just skip this trial and jump ahead to chapter three. The hell you Wait a saying? second. We don't know what the we don't know who the culprit is yet. Uh. Yeah, who killed Montaro? That was that was chapter one case. Why can't be this forgetful? What the fuck? <laughs> All right. Another shocking truth revealed. Oh my god, my phone's been going off nonstop. Holy shit! <laughs> Back to square one. Square one? If square one, they wouldn't have got eaten by the competition. After that terrible movie, they had no other choice. What the fuck are you guys talking about? Wow, what does that mean? By the way, I just realized Mono Kid has a little, <laughs> he has a little thing for him, little It means podium. he doesn't want to get involved in another pointless argument, like this one. We shouldn't listen to anything Maki says. She's just gonna throw out more lies. But if we don't ask her for more details, how will we know for sure? I told you already, we don't need to. I hate liars. Liar, liar, pants on fire. Says the liar. More one to talk. R slash nice guy. Maki, just ignore that lying little degenerate. We'll listen to what you have to say. It must have been a little after midnight last night. He visited me at my research lab. He wanted me to show him the motive video that I received. Motive video? If Ryoma came to ask about that, does that mean you had his motive video? As I recall, Ryoma had Maki's motive video, correct? Does this mean you and Ryoma received one another's motive video? But Maki says she never watched the video. I actually didn't check the one I got, so I wouldn't know. Maki admitted earlier that she hadn't checked her cub's pet. Then why did Ryoma think that Maki had his motive video? If he went around asking at random, he might have asked some people besides Maki. He never asked me. He probably never asked you guys either, right? Then, who was it that told Ryoma about his cub's pet? Who told Ryoma that Maki had his motive video? Probably Monokuma? It would have to be someone who knew who had each pad. Oh, shit. Uh-huh. I mean, Kokichi went and picked up a bunch of pads, but I don't think it would be Kokichi, would it? It's you! That would be Kokichi. Cub pads? Gotta catch them all. They even got pads belonging to the people who aren't here. Now everyone can watch their motive video. So, you saw the motive videos. Did you tell Ryoma that Maki had his? When males get this quiet, they're either caught in a lie or thinking dirty thoughts. Maybe. I plead the fifth. What happened then, Maki? After Ryoma asked you for his motive video. I told Ryoma just to take it from my room. I keep my room unlocked. Why would you do that? Oh, Maki, that's super careless. 
Aren't you scared someone might kill you in your sleep? And then what happened? <laughs> that that look on her face tells me that she's like, no, because I have a gun. <laughs> like I don't know what happened after that. I'm not even sure if he saw his murder video. When he asked me, he said that he would show me my murder video in return. But I wasn't interested, so I declined. And that's pretty much it. Maki, I love you. Please don't die. So you don't even know if Ryoma saw his motive video? What a bunch of crap. If Maki met with Ryoma at nighttime, that proves he was still alive then. Which means, even though we don't have alibis from 8 to 10, Maki and me aren't suspects. If that story is true. It's true. Then why did you wait until now to bring that up? I didn't say anything until now because I wasn't in the mood to be suspected. Suspected? What for? Forget about her being suspected. What the hell you mean in the mood? Kirumi said it earlier. It seems that Ryoma and I had each other's motive videos. That's pretty fishy, right? So I didn't want to mention it to avoid suspicion. You didn't say anything because you weren't in the mood? It is quite selfish to keep this information hidden because you were not in the mood. Well, whatever. Either way, let's just believe Maki. Yes, yes! Those who believe shall be saved! No, we need to wait. There is still more to confirm. Well then, why don't we ask Kokichi? Huh? What now? Yeah, you've been pretty quiet, Kokichi. You never answered my question. Exactly. Were you the one who told Ryoma that Maki had his motive video? Is that really important? Yes, it is important. Because if Kokichi told Ryoma, it becomes more likely that Ryoma visited Maki during nighttime. I see. Kokichi's response may help corroborate Maki's testimony. Now you understand why I don't want your charade. I want the truth. Well, Kokichi, did you tell Ryoma? You said it earlier. I don't want to die, right? If you really don't want to die, then you better tell us the truth. Here comes the dramatic turnabout. Now I'm the one pressured by Maki. Okay, it's true. I told Ryuma. Always starting shit. Just as I thought. Out here fucking instigating. But that's not a bad thing, right? He wanted to know, so I told him. Have you seen everyone's motive video? No, not yet. I was gonna wait until we hosted like a movie screening party. I just checked who had whose so I could give them back to everyone after. Hmm, I see. Anyway, if Kokichi told Ryoma that, then he must have gone to see Maki. That means Maki's telling the truth. Ryoma was alive during nighttime. No, we cannot be too sure about that yet. Even if Ryoma and Maki did meet, it does not mean it was during nighttime yesterday. So you still suspect me? I am saying it could still be a possibility. If there is still a small chance of you being the culprit, then I cannot trust you entirely. Because everyone's lives are at stake. Then which is it? A lie? Or not lie? She's not lying! Can't you tell just by looking at her? If it was that easy, we'd be done by now. No, this is a world of lies and betrayal. Aw, Himiko, who hurt you? Himiko, it breaks my heart to hear you say depressing things. I find Maki's testimony suspicious. It's far too convenient for her. It is convenient, but I think it's the truth. This is difficult to determine. Maki is lying. Like I said before, a liar like me knows their own kind. Therefore, you would lie about the liar. I'm not lying. I did meet up with Ryoma during nighttime. I'm telling the truth. Is it a lie or a truth? This is the turning point. This will change the fate of this quite. I just bit my own tongue. Fate of the case. <laughs> And I said I would believe Kaito, and that means believing in Maki. And that means I have to I have to do it. I need us all to be on the same page. I have to lie. 
I have to change where this argument is going, just like Kaede did. So am I lying? I'm gonna lie. I'm gonna start lying. Through my fucking teeth. Maki alone? Bullshit. I was with her. Maki only see Ryoma Even though I can't be. <laughs> yes, I didn't meet with anyone else. I'll bust for yesterday. Did anyone see those two together? Surely they would have come forward already. If no one can prove that this meeting took place, then there is no reason to believe your testimony, I'm afraid. As expected, Maki is lying to us. If you can't prove your claim, then it's the same as an outright lie! All right, I think I know where to use it on. Crap! Maki only see Ryoma. Yes, I didn't meet with anyone else. Did anyone see those two together? Oh shit! Did I miss? I hit the white noise. Fuck! White noise appearing at the last second. I met with Ryoma the previous night. Oh shit. Yes, I didn't meet with anyone else. Did anyone see those two together? Shit. Hmm. Oh no. All right. All right, so what the hell am I doing here? Let's see. What a load of crap! Don't his account. That wouldn't help. It's like meet and greet. Well, yes, what does this I actually say? See, so, yeah, Maki was standing guard in front of her lab last night. She stayed in her dorm room only during nighttime. I mean, how like that? Anyone see those two together? Hell? Albies for yesterday. Surely they would have come forward already. Suichi Kibo, Sumugi, Tenko, MPN. Great Tenko. Kukichi is there. I mean, if no one can prove that this meeting took place, then there is no reason to believe your testimony. I'm afraid. As expected, Maki is lying to us. If you can't prove your claim, then it's the same as an outright lie! Hmm. It's up to the met. It's too obvious of a lie. So I convinced him that Maki met up with someone. Okay. Okay. During a match show, go to one up on top of the stage. No one was at the... Oh, I saw a tank at the promise. Eight o'clock, eight fifty five, and nine to eleven. What the fuck? I'm actually confused on this one. You Not gonna lie. The previous night. What a load of crap! Might have our first game over. Maki only see Ryoma at night? Yes, I didn't meet with anyone else. Did anyone see those two together? Surely they would have come forward already. If no one can prove that. I don't know how that works. I just had a feeling. I don't know. I don't know. I might not be able to prove they met, but I can prove Maki wasn't alone. Where the hell are you going with this, Suichi? Oh, please explain. Well, 
Kaito and I train together every night. And yesterday, because of the insect meet and greet, we started late. Huh? Ah, Kaito, don't worry. You don't have to say anything. Don't say anything, because if you do, you're going to fuck up my life. Anyway, we were doing some frog squats on the school stairs. When we heard two people talking. People talking? We knew one of them was Maki, but we couldn't pick out the other one. But now that I think about it, it must have been Ryoma. Look at him sweating. Sweating out that lie. <laughs> what? Uh, yeah, maybe. That was probably around midnight. Wait a minute! If you heard their voices, then that means... So Ryoma and Maki did meet up. No, no, hold up! Why'd you sit on that info for so long? Damn it, Mew, shut up! Because until just now, I didn't think it was relevant. I had no reason to bring it up. Now, now. We don't know if Maki was really talking to Ryoma, right? That is true. If I knew for certain, I would have said so sooner. But we do know that she did meet up with someone. But considering the circumstances, I can't imagine it being anyone but Ryoma. None of us were talking to Maki last night, correct? So it must have been him. Uh, Maki, why is there a third floor's wet sign next to you? And nobody say you suddenly remember talking to Maki. It's way too late for that. And you two did not confirm who Maki was talking to at the time? Why would we? If I overheard a conversation in the middle of the night, I surely would have checked. Mm, a liar. We are still part of a killing game after all. Whoa, whoa, chill out. Why the scary face? That was my bad, but it's not really manly to eavesdrop, you know? I wouldn't do something so uncool. Anyway, I know that we heard those voices. Maki is not lying. Look at these two fucking liars. <laughs> I can't, like, get this image out of my head of them just going like, Yeah, that's right. That's right. Right? That's right. Then Gota will believe, friends. You're gonna believe him? Just like that? But Shuichi has no reason to lie. Yes. If his lie leads us to the wrong culprit, he will join us in eternal sleep. Unless he wishes for death, we should be able to believe him. That's right. You can believe me. Yeah, you're right. I'll believe him too. Thanks, Sunogi. shall set you free. Shut up, Angie. I'd be so surprised if Shuichi was a liar. Especially after we believed him for so long. You know I'm a liar and you just won't say it, asshole. We wouldn't be able to trust anyone anymore. Well, it's not like he's lying anyway. Yeah, look at him. He's like, I know you're lying. <laughs> asshole. You did that on purpose. All right, that proves it then. Ryoma was still alive during nighttime. In other words, me and Maki aren't suspects anymore. But I guess that means everyone's alibis no longer matter, yes? So everyone is culprit again? Oh, fuck this. So we're right back where we started. What a pain. However, it should be clear now that the crime occurred after nighttime began. That's what I said, and then you guys told me I was wrong. But then when was Ryoma's body placed inside the piranha tank? After nighttime. Well, the gym is locked at nighttime, so it must have been the next morning. But what if? Huh? How? What is the range of motion for the pulley system that the piranha tank had? Could it fit through the window of the pool? That's not possible. Himiko and I were at the gym, remember? So did we fuck up by thinking the body got stuffed into the piranha tank? I don't think so. We have evidence to prove that's what happened. Then when did the culprit throw the body into the piranha tank? When did Ryoma's body get placed in it? 
Maki was with Ryoma around midnight, so it couldn't have been before nighttime. If it couldn't have been the morning after, that leaves. The only time they could have done it was during nighttime, huh? Did you forget the gym's not open at nighttime, Dick Cheese? I hate that term. Dick Cheese? Ugh. But that's the only possibility, because by morning we were already at the gym. It may be possible they slipped by without you noticing. No one can slip by me. I'm known far and wide as the snoozing sorceress. What a terrible title for a guard. Exactly. Are you positive that you did not see it? You cannot enter the gym at nighttime. Kimiko would have seen it. She might strike out, but she always keeps her eye on the ball. I don't even play baseball. But we can't disobey school rules, right? The body was probably moved in the morning. Calm down, everyone. Go to sure if we discuss disagreement. I see through your arguments. What? Disagreement? What? A disagreement? You mean you're split down the middle again? Ah. Uh. Then the ultimate academy is proud to present its very own more phenomenal trial grounds. Yippee! We've been waiting for this. Okay. Jeez, we gotta do that whole crazy thing again? It seems like our opinions are split on the matter. But if we focus on the evidence, the fact will become clear. All we have to do is show them and make them accept it. If I can't get them to see the truth now, my lie would have been for nothing. I won't fail. All right. Gotta say, I do like this part. Why is Gonta at the bottom? That doesn't feel right. <laughs> Look at these badasses. <laughs> All right. Did Let's the see. culprit move the body just before the morning announcement? Is it not possible you simply missed the culprit? Kimiko! You were right in front of the door. There's no way we could have missed them. Remember, the rules state that you can't enter the gym at night. Kaito! Rules probably don't apply to corpses, you know. The piranha tank is too far from the gym's entrance. I've got this! You might be able to reach the tank from the window above the stage. See, that's what I'm saying. But pool next to gym also off limits at night. Maki! Entering the pool at night's what's off limits, not the pool area itself. Yeah, Maki, you kind of shut him down. Maki's testimony in the first place? Tenko! It's okay, because we have Shuichi's testimony too! Did the culprit move the body just before the morning announcement? Okay. Well, we are consistent. Our positions look weak. Did oh come on, you could just. Oh shit. The and... There we go. I was in front of the gym with the others before the announcement. Gotta do it all at once. All right. Is it not possible you simply missed Kimiko? We were right in front of the door. There's no way we could have missed them. Remember, the rules state that you can't. Kaito. Rules probably don't apply to corpses, you know. The piranha tank is. I got this. You might be able to reach the tank from the window above the stage. Want to give bananas to Gonta, but he doesn't like bananas. Entering the pool at night's what's off limits, not the pool area itself. But should we trust Makiko? It's okay, because we have Shuichi's testimony too. Wait, what? That's why. <laughs> it's true that you cannot enter the gym. Oh no, did you see Go to Go Super Saiyan the night before? I wouldn't want to give him any bananas. I am positive that the window was how the culprit moved the body. 
That window is higher than the piranha tank, and it's pretty close like by. Like I said, fuck yeah, through the window. The curtains might have been closed, but the window was open the whole investigation. That means it was certainly possible to put the body in the piranha tank from the window. However, I'm also positive the pain dividing the piranha tank was set up beforehand. That certainly couldn't be tossed in. It would need to be placed carefully. Even if the culprit were to throw the body from outside the window... The window is far too high. It cannot be reached from the floor. That is true. Unless somebody use some sort of uh, rope and inner tube. Triomo is small. Gonta could have chucked him easy. Yes, but Gonta wouldn't do that. Gentlemen not chuck dead bodies. <laughs> Gentlemen not chuck dead bodies. <laughs> I don't know why that sounds funny to me. Being a gentleman has nothing to do with it. They use the ladder in the gym! You tested it out while you were investigating, Shuichi. That ladder reached the window, right? It's too short. So the culprit just needed to put the body through the window to pull it off, right? No, I don't think that method is possible because... The ladder doesn't reach the window. That's it! The only reason the ladder reached the window was because it was on the stage. If you use the ladder on the pool side, it would not quite make it. The ladder could barely reach the window when it was on the stage. And there is nothing on the pool side of the gym as tall as the stage. Finally, the ladder was found in the gym, correct? If the culprit used the ladder on the pool side, we wouldn't have found it in the gym. Sorry, I'm just trying to think right now. Say the body was hanging, where would you... Hmm. Where would you hang it from? Forget, forget about hanging it. How the hell would you even get it up there? And they couldn't have thrown the ladder back through the window because it's too heavy. Then Gota used his hard strength to throw the ladder or the body or something. You're fucked up, Mew. <laughs> Mew, you are fucked up. <laughs> Can't say that it's not funny, though. Gentlemen, not throw dead bodies or ladders. The body could not have been thrown into the piranha tank to begin with. Yeah, because it would offset the balance of the, um... ...of the fucking glass pane. It would need to be placed carefully to prevent the glass pane from shifting. Yeah, exactly. Got it, Musclehead? Even if we injected tons of steroids into you, it'd be impossible! Sorry, you're right. You didn't need to apologize, Gonta. Has he apologized for not being a for not being the culprit? <laughs> what? How the culprit moved the body from the window. Ha! <laughs> you guys don't even know that? What a bunch of dimwits. Do you have the answer then? But of course. <laughs> but of course, my lady. Tell him, Shuichi. Blow him all away. Oh my cool. fucking god. Uh I uh actually don't know that yet what the culprit definitely moved the body through the window but i don't know how seriously serves you right you just made a fool out of yourself after acting all high and mighty dudes just need to shut up and take their licks what are we gonna do shuichi we gotta figure this out or we're done for Hey, you gotta do something, Shuichi! Alright! Hop off my back! Shit! Uh, I know. I have to do something, but... <laughs> I don't know what to do. I haven't figured that out yet. Damn it. Am I really not good enough? Am I... 
I not good as a detective? I can't do this. I don't think it really matters how the body got into the piranha tank. Now Soichi has the floor's wet sign next to him. Gonta thinks it matter. We won't know culprit's trick unless we figure out. We're getting sidetracked. It doesn't matter how it was done, just who did it. We shouldn't focus on where we found the body. Instead, we need to focus on where he was killed. Where he was killed? Maki, if you die in this game, I'm gonna be so mad. <laughs> Wouldn't it be more efficient if we focused on the murder scene instead? Yes, that's it. We were so caught up in where the body was found. When we should have been thinking about where the murder occurred. The murder scene would definitely have more clues about the culprit. Why didn't anyone realize this yet? <laughs> That's strange. Perhaps the culprit steered the conversation away from that topic. Then, culprit is someone in this room. Wonderful deduction, Gonzo. Brilliant. That's important to remember. It's not if everyone here wants to find the truth. One of us is trying to sabotage this trial. Well, sabotage? Let's discuss the crime scene to figure out who the culprit is. That's not a bad idea for a robot. The last time I heard such a good idea was when Nino told me to move in. You know Maki doesn't die now be happy. I feel like she's gonna die. Now that you said that, you cemented her fate. How dare you? Amy Kawa under the bridge? What what the fuck you just say, Tinka? What? <laughs> If we can determine where this started, we can determine how it ended. So we just gotta find out who derailed the conversation. Too much too soon to quit. The trial has only just begun. Don't Thank say that. You, Maki. that was a Don't say the trial has only just begun. It's been going on pretty long. I can't believe you didn't notice that. I guess that's why you're still an apprentice. I love you, Maki. Maki, I love you. Hi, Maki. Hi. Maki noticed me. Run a tank, wet staircase, pile of fat. First, well, okay. Let's establish the crime scene. Well, okay. Wasn't it the dorm room? Ryoma was relaxing in his room when he got attacked. But the cause of death was drowning. Yes, it was. There is nothing in his room that could collect enough water. He's got a toilet, doesn't he? Oh yeah, just uh, look at the latest IGN review. I'm pretty sure that would collect enough water. water is That's right. That's right. I went there. Well, it must be the pool then. It's definitely now the pool. Turn drowned in the toilet. What? <laughs> Shut your mouth, you noisy sow. sow! What? You can agree with that? <laughs> You're like, yeah, you are a sow. Cause of death. Trying to water. Well, seems obvious answer, but I have my doubts. First, let's establish the crime scene. Oh. Pool rules. In my mind, I was like... The fabric fucking red herring the shit out of me right there. It's probably still important, but... At that moment, it definitely red herring the shit out of me. It made me think of something else. Yeah, I think he was, uh, in my opinion, I think he was drowned in the fucking, um, in his shower room. In the sink. No swimming is allowed at nighttime, so a living person could not have gone in. <laughs> a dead body is fine because it's just an object. But if a living person entered the pool, I think I might cry. Cry as loud as you want. I'll cry with you. We can spend the night together crying. And the morning after, I'll write goodbye on your mirror and lipstick before I quietly leave. What the fuck, Monophy? Only after you leave do I realize how much you really mean to me. What the fuck? Quit being so gloomy. This is the year of the Jets. Fuck the Patriots. 
What? Anyway, we can conclude it's impossible for him to have drowned in the pool. Where was Ryoma killed if not pool? Is there other place where water can be stored? Where was Ryoma killed? I know there's some kind of clue. He's definitely killed in that fucking... In that sink. Where is it? What the fuck is the sink? Here it is. This is it. I'm blind. I am blind. The sink in I'm lab. blind and I can't read. There were distinct scratch marks on it. That's why I wear glasses. Scratch marks on the sink. And I believe those scratches were caused by handcuffs. This is it. The oh, thanks for the follow, Kokichi. As well. Greatly appreciate it. Handcuffs. They were scratched. Okay, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. Sort of looked like they'd been scraped against something. Hmm. There's also the fact that the handcuffs were from Ryoma's lap. The marks on the sink came from the handcuffs in the same room. The size and shape of the scratches are consistent with the handcuffs, I'm sure. Hmm. How did those handcuffs get from the lab to the water tank? Because Ryoma was wearing them, right? Yes, though they were only visible for a brief moment when Ryoma appeared in the tank. I am certain he was wearing the handcuffs at the time. Even though he didn't die being eaten by the piranhas, it's still a fucked up thing to do. Jesus. The handcuffs were left after the piranhas devoured Ryoma. So the culprit handcuffed Ryoma and drowned him in his lab sink. I'm trying to think of like all the other cases that happened in Danganronpa and I feel like this one is just... Because usually the other one's just like, oh, someone got hit on the head or something. They just died. It was pretty quick or something or nearly quick or something like that. But like, this one, this one's just like really methodical and sadistic. It's like, yep, drown him, just fucking stuff his little fucking body in the goddamn thing. And you just, and you, <laughs> like, what? And then feed him to the fishes? What do you mean by me? What are you talking about, Mongo? Ryoma must have been pretty yummy. They chomped up his entire body. Arms, legs, brain. Fucking Kokichi. Same disgusting things. I don't want to hear it. That crunchy texture with the fatty parts just right. Then when they bite down, it gushes. Oh, you're fucked up. Stop! Please stop! He's talking. Wait, what? Oh. Who's blind? Oh no, I think Kokichi was talking about me. <laughs> Because I was like, where the fuck is the sink? I can't find it. But how did culprit handcuff Ryoma? He could have used Shikuchi method to get away. Unless someone ambushed him? Or he put his guard down. It's possible they knocked him out before handcuffing him. <laughs> Though there's no way we can be sure. <laughs> Everyone is blind. But bones. I doubt he was ambushed. I'm pretty sure the culprit got Ryoma by... Uh, whoops. Don't pay attention to little me. I'm just talking to myself. You bastard. Wait a minute. What if the person got Ryoma by going like, Here, I got your video pad. Wanna watch it? And while he's watching it, they just, bam, right in the back of the head. When you talk to yourself, pretend you're eating and chew with your mouth closed. Damn, Samugi. Otherwise, you'll get a mouthful of peanut butter squid. It's so disgusting, you'll laugh. What the fuck are you talking about? So we all agree Ryoma was drowned in the sink in his lap, right? That sink could have held enough water to do it for sure. All right, I'm calling.
calling it. The crime scene is Riona's fucking research lab. <laughs> how would you know that's top secret? But how did the culprit carry his body to the gym from there? Isn't Rioma's lab on the third floor of the academy? It's actually not far at all. Although, perhaps it's more accurate to say there's a shortcut. Was there a shortcut? A shortcut between Rioma's lab and the culprit is the window. There! To the windows. The shortcut to the walls. Is the window of Rioma's lab. Till sweat dropped down the stalls. Man, these Kumas be crawling. The window? That's right. None of the windows in this school open. Except the one in Ryoma's lab. And the other one across from it to the gym. That and opens too. That, the window faced the pool. You could see the gym straight across. Culprit dropped Rioma's body into the pool area from the lab window? Then they could have thrown the body into the piranha tank through the gym window. How's that? Mission complete! Your explanation contradicts some things we discussed earlier. The gym window was too high to reach from the poolside, even if one used the ladder. That's right! I apologize! I must go on a journey to reflect on this! Hmm. I just realized something. I'll keep it to myself. We keep hitting dead ends since we don't know how the body was thrown into the gym. <laughs> well, that didn't really give us any info about the crime. Not necessarily. We learned a lot of important information. Now that I'm sure the sense of since now I'm sure the scene of the crime was Ryoma's lab, the cause is becoming clearer. Cause? The case. What is wrong with me tonight? To determine how the body got from the crime scene to where it was found, I have to figure out... Wait, what? I have to figure out how to get from the third floor window to the gym. Alright then, I have to analyze possible methods. What the fuck? When you deduce things are connected, what? When you have to deduce how things are connected, psychic taxi starts up. Gather the letter cubes lying around from question. Use X button to accelerate. By picking up letter cubes floating around, you can complete the question. Once you've completed the question, you head towards the escort. Okay. It's the right answer. They'll get in your car. If it's the wrong answer, something bad happens. They steal you and they take your. They steal you. They, <laughs> they drug you and take your money. Also, there will be other cars on the road. So watch out. Okay. Look at this hotline Miami type shit. Oh, what? Oh, that. Oh, shit. That does not feel good to drive. Oh no. Oh, I don't like this. <laughs> They're all A's. Why are they all A's? Body was brought from where? Okay. Okay, lab window, lab door. Lab window. You just run them over? Get in the car, bitch. <laughs> We're going to Disney World. Oh, this is weird. <laughs> This is weird, but I like it. Wait, what? Maki God, Kaede God. 
Listen, I love Maki, I love Mew. Still, it's still a pretty close tie to me, you know? I don't know who's better. They both got something I want. Body was bought to the gym from where? I straight up just missed that. I didn't even try to get it. I'm scared of like spinning out. We're hitting six flags. You guys remember the old man in the six flags commercials? He used to dance everywhere. What the hell is that? Oh, that's a car. I was like, what the hell is that? We need more letters to appear. Jesus. Not gonna lie, it's starting to hurt my eyes a little bit. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, look at this. Oh. I was hoping I can get two at once. Jesus. <laughs> Going on a Sunday stroll. Ah, crashed. That was a move from the classroom window to the gym window. Via the pool from window to window. I hesitated. I'm not gonna lie. I hesitated. I was like, via the pool, what? I've got it. Ryoma's body was moved directly from his lab to the gym. I mean nothing. Ignore that. You guys are going crazy. Directly? Don't tell me they threw the body from window to window. Oh shit! I mean, we're talking about a what? Body. It's not like tossing a baseball, you know. I'm sitting there. I'm like window to window with what system? No, f wait. What? Did they just swing him over? No, I don't believe he was thrown. But perhaps another way. What the fuck are you on about? What do you mean another way? There's no other way to move it. The culprit must have used some kind of equipment. Huh? Equipment? With this equipment, they can connect the two windows and move the body to the gym. Equipment to connect the windows. Now I think I might have got it. See, I was wondering, I was like, some type of pulley levy system, right? But, where would you hang it from? So what, okay, what if they took the cable from the tennis net, window to window, then tuck the inner tube with the rope, put them inside the inner tube, and just pushed them across, and the momentum just plate plopped them in the fucking tank. Oh, well, there's a rope here, so. There! The rope found behind the gym stage could have been used to connect the windows. Oh, there was a mysterious mystery about that rope that only Atua can reveal. What mysterious mystery? During last night's preparations for the show, that rope was in the wing of the stage. But the next morning, the rope had been moved backstage for some reason. And you failed to tell us this why? It's a mysterious mystery. Only Atua 
everyone knows the answer. So, during nighttime, someone used the rope and threw it into the gym window? So they did use the rope! That's how they bridged the distance between both windows! Is the rope long enough to reach both windows? The rope is roughly 65 feet in length. As for the distance between the windows... According to the sign of the pool, the width of the pool is roughly 35 feet. I was watching... Wait, wait. I was watching images of... First of all... Watching images? <laughs> I had to say it. I was looking at images of Himiko and found Himiko x Kokichi. Yeah, when this game came out, there's just like... A lot of people that were throwing out like... A lot of Kokichi fanfiction, I guess. And trust me, it was hard to dodge a lot of it. Because it was everywhere, and I'm like, holy fuck. Even without looking for Danganronpa, it was just like everywhere, and I was like, okay, jeez, I can't go on Twitter no more. And the distance from the edges of the pool to the windows is an additional 16 feet. Altogether, the sum total length from one window to the other is roughly 50 feet. There's also Kokichi and Kaede. Yeah, I would see why people would do that. They had like that that rivalry thing going on. And pool is only thing between research lab and I think the one that I saw the most uh well not saw, but the one that kept like appearing the most was uh Kokichi and Mew. And I remember just going like, why the fuck? Why is this everywhere? <laughs> What's going on? You bet it's long enough. <laughs> That's what she said. Wait, who said that? Oh, Samugi, you poor creature. Even if the rope was long enough, wouldn't it be pretty hard to tie them to the windows? Both windows were too high to reach. It would be like tying a rope from one cliff to another. If the windows were closer together, then they could toss the rope across. But they're not. No, don't I think it would work. Just need one more rope. Another rope? There was only one, though. Dang, Rampa with no ships is best. Well, that's pretty hard to do because Dang Rampa in itself automatically ships everyone together. <laughs> oh, then it's impossible. They did in Dang Rampa one. They did in Dang Rampa two, and even Ultra the Spare Girls. Oh God. No, I'm sure there was another rope, or at least something that could be used as a rope. Where is it? Up oh, here it is. This is it. The tennis net cable from Ryoma's lab could serve as a rope. I have to ask a question. Whatever happened to fucking uh? Well, I know what happened to Hagakure, like, cause he's in Dangarapa three. But what happened to? Hagakure and fucking Leon's cousin. Because that was a story they did. <laughs> Hope they don't ship Kokichi and Gonta. I mean, the game's already made him his little henchman. Or his big henchman, I should say. <laughs> How long is it? About 50 feet or so. But how do they use it? Agakure or, uh, I can't even see that. You know? No, I'm talking about, um, in Ultra Despair Girls, once you beat the game, you can read the story, episode Hagakure, and that story is Hagakure and Leon's cousin running around the fucking town. Yeah, psychic dude from the first one. That's Hagakure, right? And fucking, um... And then Leon's cousin was in fucking... Uh, whatchamacallit? <laughs> the emote is cool. Thanks, it's made by Volta Base. You can check him out. By the way, speaking of the fucking emotes, um... I thought follower emotes would be available for everyone. That's only for select people who got into the beta, apparently. 
why they need a fucking beta, I don't know. I think it's just so they can, you know, push the more bigger known streamers. So, you know, when that when that comes available, when follower emotes comes available for everyone, I'll make sure that my emotes are a little bit more open. Okay, so it has glasses. <laughs> First, culprit hang rope outside of one window. Then, culprit move to other side. By the way, I like how Gonto was like, I'm not smart enough for this. Look at this man making big money moves. What are you doing? And tie cable to other window. Oh, and then go back down time together and just pull. Then, after tying to each window, culprit tie rope and cable together. That how culprit make one rope that reach both windows. Wow, that's amazing, Gonta. You're so knowledgeable. Yeah, Gonta, that was really fucking cool, actually. Cause even I was stumped on that. I was just trying to figure out like how the fuck would you get it up there? It, it's nothing. Gonta use ropes a lot when looking for bugs. Even if they did connect the windows with a rope, they can't carry a body on just that. And that's where the inner tube and the other rope comes from. Eureka! I got it! Thomas Edison once said that genius is 1% inspiration and 99% perspiration. The way I see it is genius is 1% work and 99% laziness. But in my case, it's 100% inspiration! You get it. Already. They handcuff the body to the rope and slid it from one window to the other, like Tarzan! The body would reach the gym window, but it wouldn't land in the piranha tank. Stop making such dumbass comments and keep your smelly <laughs> breath in your dirty oh, mouth. <laughs> See, the comment enough was big, but the camera zooming into his face did it. Yeah, I me, mean, you're a masochist. Tarzan? Um, but they also had to put the body in the piranha tank after they moved it, huh? That is not feasible with just one rope. Maybe the rope wasn't the only equipment the culprit used. <laughs> Pop off checkers. I have to ask, does anyone know the fast food chain of checkers? Is that only an East Coast thing? And why do they still exist? Because they kind of suck. Well, anyway, it would have been pretty difficult to get that body in the piranha tank. We wouldn't just throw it. The trick was a super crucial part of the culprit's plan. The culprit must have carefully placed the body into the tank with their own hands. But is there really a way to do that? Kokichi, are you hinting at something? I wasn't even paying attention. What the fuck did you just say, Kokichi? Probably must have carefully placed the body into the tank with their own hands, but is there a way to do that? Mm. Huh? Hint? What hint? Don't confuse me with your talk of hinting hints. You're confusing me. You were definitely onto something. It's true that the culprit needed to place the body directly into the piranha tank. If the body were to fall, the carpet... Carpet. The culprit would not have been able to retrieve it. They would have only had one shot at it. No second chances. So obviously the culprit would have wanted to put the body in carefully. Meaning they would have wanted to get as close to the window as possible. The problem is, how did they get near it? God, I'm about to start coughing. My fucking throat itches. Give me a moment. I'm about to mute my mic so you guys don't hear this shit. Oh god, I got like a fucking itch in my throat. It won't go away. Uh, it's a lot of hints. Keep my eyes on you. <laughs> <coughs> Fuck, I'm dying. Somehow the culprit used that to move the body more close to the window themselves. 
To make the to make that work, they had to use something else. What would that be? What would they have done? All right, Shuichi. The stage is finally set. Oh, shut up, Kaito. What? Listen up. Do a good job here, and I'll be able to put an end to this trial. How the fuck you won't? It all starts with you. You be the opening act, and I'll be the main event. You're so gonna die, Kaito, aren't you? They're and building together, you up for something. We're gonna save everyone. Together? You got this. After all, you are my sidekick. I believe in you, so I'm gonna leave the rest to you. Yeah. You know, Kaito reminds me of Fred from Scooby-Doo. He really doesn't do shit. <laughs> like, but he's the leader. Okay, I can do this. I've solved the mystery and show everyone the truth. This is the main event. Something was used with the rope to move the body between the windows. Think. Eggman's Gambit. All right, let's see. Uh, 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 fuck. Uh, okay. I don't know the exact word we're looking for here, but we're looking for a word. Rope. What's this? What? Ropeway. The fuck are you talking about? Are you talking about the inner tube? Yes, that's it. The culprit used something like a ropeway to move the body. <laughs> Kaito Suichi Psychic, and it's the other way around? Exactly. Just like Scooby-Doo, where Fred's like, I'm the leader, but he does the least work. A ropeway, huh? Are you sure about that? I think Mystery Incorporated was the only time Fred actually did shit. Wow, you got drain damage or something? You'd need some kind of vessel to use on a ropeway, and we don't have that! No, there's definitely was. The culprit used it to move the body along the rope. What the fuck? His mode of objective is to dig up the answer, so we're playing Minesweeper? Erase pieces, X button, place erased, two or more of the same color to connect. The adjacent pieces will then change color in the following order, white, pink, yellow, white. If you do it right, you can remove all the pieces. The trick is to predict how the adjacent pieces will change. Uh huh. You get a time penalty. Oh shit! So it's not Minesweeper. We just gotta like, it's like fucked up Tetris, right? <laughs> uh. Drain damaged Mew. <laughs> what? It took me a moment, I looked at that, and I was like, what the fuck are you- Oh, that's what you're talking about. Uh, Kat's call Suichi- Call Suichi Psychic. Uses the Uno Reverse card. <laughs> Alright. <clears throat> so what was it? It was white, pink, yellow, white. So, white. So that, okay. So they have to be like, see, I thought maybe if they were, they have to be adjacent. They can't be uh, diagonal. Okay. <clears throat> Oops. Well, that's bad. Uh, we'll come back to that later. I'll leave a couple of stragglers. Why not? I ain't got the time though. 
sit here and guess everything correctly. stragglers <laughs> got a lot of stragglers I'm not good at this uh, go there just kind of feeling it out Is there no more connecting ones? Yep. I completely fucked up. <laughs> oh well. Oh yeah, I definitely fucked up. Yikes. Wait, if you fuck it up once, it's just- Oh, come on. Was my health super low or something? Is this really the end? Now my battery's dying. <laughs> no, no. We can't let it end here. Where's my charger? Good thing I have it close to me. Okay. Hold up. Hold up, game. Give me a second. Put in my charger in. There you go. Alright. Uh... Oh, this is going to be difficult for me. Shit. Sorry if I'm being too quiet, I'm just trying to focus on this because I know I'm going to have a hard time with this damn thing. Uh, look at all that. Look at all that left. Look at all the fuckery. I definitely am going to need like an upgrade for this later. This is definitely a weak part. Definitely my weak spot right here. <laughs> oh, around the objects that I need. I thought I had to get them all. My bad. We can't all right, well now that I know that, this is gonna be easier. There's also this stuff over here, too. Shit. Hmm. Fuck. Yeah, 
Yeah, it doesn't matter. That's. There we go. Just make that a little bit more easier for myself. Ah, shit. There we go. Just break you all. And then break you guys off. Is that it? Oh, there's more. There's this shit over here. Fuck. Damn it. Oh, you have to pick one. Oh, shit. I just kind of pressed triangle because I thought it was like submit them all at once. It's the inner tube. Oh, now that I know how that works, that's just piss poor easy. <laughs> the inner tube? Remember the inner tube we found in the pool with a rope on one side? Maybe the rope was originally tied on both sides. The culprit made a ropeway by hanging the tube from the rope connecting the windows. And because the third floor window is higher up, Gravity would have pushed the inner tube along. The inner tube is made of sturdy rubber as well. It could have supported two people. So they went with the body. The culprit used the ropes and the inner tube to construct a rudimentary ropeway. See, I thought they just put the body there and just kind of let gravity do the work and pray. And used it to move themselves and Ryoma's body from the lab to the gym. I didn't even think the inner tube was that big, to be honest. I thought it was smaller. I thought it was just Ryoma sized. Once through the gym window, the culprit stood on the inner tube to move the body. Either that, or the culprit placed their foot on the windowsill. That way would be more stable and let them handle the corpse more carefully. Finally, they removed the rope from the window frame and left the scene. So the markings are from the sh their shoes? Well, when you put it like that, <coughs> it oh, oh god. Possible. But wow, a ropeway. You say the culprit placed their foot on the window sill. Isn't that against school rules? Mm. It would count as entering the gym, would it not? Last time we got asked that question, we decided it was okay. Sticking your body through the window is an automatic out, but standing on the sill is... Wait, who asked you last time? Eh? It is quite possible that the culprit went to you to confirm the details of their plan. No shit! Why would you open your mouth? We didn't put your foot in your mouth. His foot? Monosuke just unhinged his jaw and swallowed his entire leg. Cut it out. I can't write this off as a joke if you two keep freaking out about it. I don't think Mono Dan's going to be happy about that. Slip up is actually the truth. P Pops? Uh -oh. Daddy's yeah. mad at you now. Yeah. <laughs> Why do you want Kokichi to die? What the hell? How's Ryoma? It didn't come. Wait, what? How Ryoma had didn't come off, we will never know. I mean, it's a beanie, right? Those things kind of like. What's the best word I can think of? They, you know, they're like nice and secure. It's not like a. It's not this like a fucking snapback. Like a big shot all the time. By the way, I gotta say, I'm happy that I don't see a million people wearing snapbacks like they used to all the time. I don't know why I don't know why people thought that was like a cool thing. <laughs> Stop. Do not believe Monoske. Huh? No more blaming each other. Everybody makes mistakes. Everybody has those days. I want us all to get along. Right now, 
here on the threshold. Monodum is right! Monosuke, you better thank Monodum. Let's have... I did not mean to skip that. Man, the trial was just getting fun. Why you gotta ruin it with that slip-up? But I guess now we know Shuichi's logic is right on the money. So Culprit really used Ropeway to move body? Yeah, they used the Ropeway to move with the body from window to window. Ropeway murder? That's some crazy ass shit! But if the mechanism was that complicated, wouldn't it be hard to put it all away? Not necessarily. All one must do is detach the rope from the window after using the ropeway. Then, after returning to Yoma's lab, one could retrieve the rope from that side. Tossing the rope into the gym from the pool window would be the final step. I see, I see! The rope was thrown from the window! That's why we found it there! With that method, the culprit must have made numerous trips from Ryoma's lab to the pool. Which is why the crime was committed during nighttime, while we all slumbered. But if the culprit was so careful to recover the rope they used to commit the crime... Why leave everything else out? Why did they leave the inner tube in the pool? Exactly. I believe that was an accident. An accident? Yes. When the culprit was taking down the inner tube, they accidentally dropped it. And it fell in the pool, thus they couldn't get it. Then why <clears throat> did the culprit leave it in the pool? Hmm. It's obvious. Because of the rules. It was nighttime. That's it! Even if they wanted to get it, they couldn't. Because this took place at nighttime. I see. They couldn't get the inner tube because swimming is prohibited at nighttime. But couldn't they have used the rope to fish it out? Not necessarily. You see, the water level in that pool is so low. Even if one tried to draw in the inner tube using the rope, the steep angle the rope would be at would make it nigh impossible. Be different if they used a pole, but there's no way a rope would work. Even if inner tube was closer to pool edge, water's still too low to drag tube in. Sounds like a lot of work. I can see why they just left it there. Yeah, it would take too long. And they would have been busted if someone saw them. Huh! What kind of clumsy dipshit drops an inner tube and can't retrieve it? Let me tell you, this culprit's a real fucking amateur! No, actually. Save for that one mistake. This was the perfect crime. <laughs> it was. It was pretty good crime. If Maki had never met up with Ryoma at nighttime, it might have been the end for us. Oh, I still don't know if Maki is telling the truth or not. Oh, shut the fuck up, Kokichi. God damn it! Shut up. Thank you, Maki. Personally, I find this culprit frighteningly thorough. Such a bold, beautiful plan. I never even imagined there was a ropeway. Oh, respect begins to bloom in my heart for this wonderfully cruel culprit. All right. <laughs> what are you, stupid? Don't respect the culprit. No, respecting the culprit's intelligence is crucial in solving this case. We're so close. Just one step away from the truth. Now, we just need to figure out who the culprit is. But of course, it would be pointless to unravel this mystery otherwise. I have no idea what you're saying, Mongos. <laughs> the ramblings of a madman. So, who is it? Hmm. Looks like it's time for me to start the main event. All right, Kaito. But my sidekick here is on a roll right now, so I'll let him take this one. Mm. Hmm? What happened to you cleaning up the case? Okay. You're just pushing everything onto Shuichi because you don't know yourself. There is now a second floor's wet sign next to Shuichi. Well, Shuichi, do you already know who the culprit is? 
Yeah, so I have a good idea of who the culprit is. Hey, Shuichi, are you hesitating again? What? Come on, man, there's no need for that. Like I said, you're my sidekick. I take responsibility for any mistakes my sidekick makes. So use those skills of yours I believe in to shove the truth down their throats. <laughs> Fred, damn it. You believe in my detective skills? That's right. I'm going to leave it all to you, Shuichi. Yeah, I need to believe in my detective work. This whole setup would have... <coughs> this whole setup would have been prepared in... <laughs> My throat is killing me. Know that there's a list of suspects. Hmm. Now I had my suspicions for quite a while. I will say they were a little biased. It has to be you. There's one more thing I still have to confirm. But Kirumi is the prime suspect. The main reason that really cemented it, though, for me... ...is that she kept fucking deflecting shit. Me? What? K kirumi Oh... So Kirumi is the culprit! That is not yet a certainty. Let us hear her testimony first. Is this true, Kirumi? <laughs> now I can use Fred with Kaito's hair. Where's Breezy when you need them? I still want... <sighs> God damn it. When, uh... Whenever the next stream is and Breezy shows up, I gotta... I gotta ask him. I gotta ask him. Did they ever color out the picture they made of Reggae Gumshoe? Because I would really love a colored version of that. I cannot believe you would suspect me. If that is the case, then I will have to deny it. I will not let you make the wrong choice. Also, Kurumi, you had access to, like, everyone's rooms. The wrong choice? What? If you do believe it is me, are you prepared to stand by that decision? Fully prepared. I will refute your accusations with all my might, for everyone's sake. <laughs> the mom of the group? That was a bad mama. I, of course, am not the culprit. You are the culprit. The crime was committed at nighttime. And you have no alibi, do you? An alibi for nighttime? I believe most of us do not have one. Liar! What? Shit. Uh. I, of course, am not the culprit. Alibis for yesterday. Oh, that'll be... Oh, because that's more people. But she's part of that, though. An alibi for nighttime? I believe most of us do not have one. I have evidence that proves you're the culprit. Do you think we would fall for such nonsense? The trick relied on complex mechanisms to work. But someone like you could be skilled enough to pull it off. Preposterous. That could have been done by anyone. Kirumi is thin and has a nice body. She and Ryoma could have totally shared an inner tube. What? We all could have, except perhaps Gonta. Yeah, she has a nice body. <laughs> like, what? Uh, yo, Kyo came to her fucking rescue. You simp-ass motherfucker. Oh, my bad. You can't say that on Twitch no more. Feelings get hurt, I guess. Simpin' bitch. <laughs> What's wrong with simps? There's nothing wrong with simps. Alright. What's with Kurumi? Nine. By 11 p.m. he returned to the lab. I mean... It has to be the alibis for yesterday, right? Course, I'm not the culprit. The crime was committed at nighttime. And you have no alibi, do you? An alibi for nighttime? 
I believe most of the Move, move! Hmm. Have no alibi for nighttime, but other than that, no voice either. Oh no! What is the fucking insect? The crime was committed. Monkey's alone. And you want to say no? An alibi for nighttime? I believe most of us do not have one. I have evidence that proves you're the g culprit. Do you think we would fall for such nonsense? Alone. Blah. Alibis. Ultimate Vodger's Lab. Crewing in gym. Till a little before p.m. with Himiko. You were seen multiple times last night wandering around the courtyard in her lingerie. What is Yonta's account? Oh wait, no. Where's the, um... Here it is. Last person saw Ryoma last night. Yes. Before that. This? The trick relied on complex mechanisms to work. That someone like you could be skilled enough to pull it off. Preposterous. That could have been done by anyone. Kiyomi is thin and has a nice body. I think I'm gonna agree with uh with Mew on this. The crime was committed. An alibi for nothing. I do not have one. I have evidence that What? How did I miss? No! <laughs> Damn it. What am I missing here? I don't even know what the fuck it is I'm actually trying to prove here, to be honest. Am I trying to prove everyone else's alibi? Her alibi? Trying to prove why she could have done it. Oh, oh well then. <laughs> Is that not a piece of the of the bullets? I, of not the okay, we have file. The crime was committed at night. Wait, file. Victim body was discovered in the cause of death was drowning. Afterwards, victim body was consumed by piranhas until the bones remained. Mm. Say it can be done by anyone who used alibis for yesterday. Then you have no alibi, do you? An alibi for nighttime? So we're trying to figure out alibis. Most of us do not have one. I have evidence that proves you're the culprit. Do you think we would fall for such nonsense? The trick relied on complex mechanisms to work. But someone like you could be skilled enough to pull it off. Preposterous. That could be done by anyone. That's wrong! No. The only person who could have prepared this murder is Kirumi. I'm sorry, what now? One of them has to go with... I can't even read that word. The font is like, really weird, and the words are small for me, so I don't even know what that says. Never mind. <laughs> well, the preparation's in the gym in any case. And why do you believe that? Before the culprit could put the body into the tank, several steps needed to be taken. Like tying the rope to the gym window. I'm putting a part I'm sorry. Let me review that piece of evidence, because I totally must have gotten this wrong. Coming from nine him. Oh, see, this is what happens when you don't fully read shit and you skim through it. Because <laughs> you're on a timer. And you don't want to bore people by reading shit. 
Especially when you're streaming, because people get bored of that. Uh, yeah. It says she was in the gym a little before, so... That that piece there. Yeah. Fishing in the piranha tank. That's right. Ryoma's body entered the gym from the window, but that required preparation. That could only have been done when Kirumi was by herself in the gym before nighttime. But Kirumi was alone in the gym for only, like, five minutes. All she did in the gym was, uh, set the piranha tank and tie the rope. Not enough time for the whole murder, but enough time to set it up. Enough time to tie the rope on the window frame and put the pain in the piranha tank. This is my selfless devotion! While I do understand where you are coming from, I assure you this is just... A part of your petty imagination. An empty theory created from nihilism. <laughs> Nothing truly matters. <laughs> Alright. If it were solely the rope. What do we got? Position. I'm going for black piece. I suppose five minutes might be enough time. Get that shit out of my face. I accept that. However, the crux of your argument is not but a guess. You continue to force the facts to conform to your misguided narrative. When you consider that the crux of your argument is faulty, your entire case falls apart. If How the fuck does this thing control? I suppose five minutes might be enough time. I'm trying to move it with the stick. However, How the fuck do I control this damn thing? The crux of your argument is not but a guess. What the fuck? You continue to force the facts to conform to your misguided narrative. I'm just trying to learn how to control the angle. Your entire case falls apart. Why is it? Why is it acting like this? I didn't have problem with this earlier. What the fuck? If it were solely the rope and partition, hmm. I suppose five minutes might be enough time. I accept that. Shit. The crux of your argument is not but a guess. You continue to force the facts to conform to your misguided when you consider that the crux of your argument is faulty. Your entire case falls apart. Oh, it's the more you cut, the bigger your radius gets. Okay, that's why I was confused as fuck. Solely the rope and partition, I was like, what the hell I is going on? Five minutes might be enough time. I was like, why can't I control shit? I accept that. However, the crux of your argument is not but a guess. You continue to force the facts to conform to your misguided narrative when you consider that the crux of your argument is faulty. Your entire case falls apart. There you go. What do you mean by crux of the argument? How is it just a guess? I am referring to the rope. Now, with that rope, it is possible to reach the gym window from the third floor window, but there is no evidence to indicate this had happened. Oh, words, shit. It is just a guess. And then you add assumptions and hearsay to that guess. It is nothing more than deception. Using big words. I am referring to the rope. Now, with that rope, it is possible to reach the gym window from the third floor window. But there is no evidence to indicate this had happened. Shut the hell up. I'll cut through your words. Oh, I know I have to. I know I have to cut all the letters. I'm just saying, like, I'm just saying that, like, the fucking movement of the blade was weird, and I, I guess I never put. I guess in the other rebuttal showdowns, like, they already gave me like full range for some reason or something like that. Because I remember it just controlling easier. Were those scratches from when the rope was tied to the window frame? Just tying the rope to the frame wouldn't cause so much damage. The rope that was tied to the frames must have been weighed down significantly. The frames didn't break, but they were left with distinct marks. Those scratches are proof that you used a rope to carry the body to the windowsill. Oh? What's wrong, Kirumi? What's wrong? What's wrong? What's wrong? Hey, what's wrong? Hey, hey, <laughs> hey, hey, hey! hey. <laughs> Asshole. Is Kirumi quiet because that's what happened? Please answer us, Kirumi! Shuichi is doing this for your sake! Kirumi, I wanted you to nurture me back to health. If it is for my sake, then it would be much easier to forfeit. But I cannot allow that! 
because I must do this for everyone. For everyone? I have a duty and a responsibility. I must serve everyone and protect them. So I refuse to surrender. They won't forgive me if I do. Wait, where's this coming from? What the fuck are you talking about? Who's everyone? Yeah. What the hell do you mean from everyone? Is she doing this for all our sakes? Am I wrong? Is Kurumi innocent? No. Hey, Kirumi. Who exactly is this everyone you're talking about? Was it in her motive video? I've... Just got a weird feeling about this. <laughs> when you said everyone, felt like you weren't talking about us. Mago, what the hell do you mean by that? <laughs> by that, do you just mean like literal shit? <laughs> it felt like you were talking about someone who isn't here. Someone who isn't here? Someone outside of the academy? Hey. Do you think Kirumi saw her own motive video? Huh? The motive video? No. You saw your important someone in danger, so you committed murder, right? Is that true? I am so sorry for making such a mess. Because of that, I made all of you assume something unnecessary. Why are you lying, Kirumi? Unnecessary? You saying I'm wrong? This everyone you're talking about? It is all of you, of course. Really? Do you swear to a tour? Yes, really. She's lying. So please believe me. I am not the culprit. I do not care what becomes of me, but I will not allow any of you to die. Because I made a promise to Kaede. Liar. She wished for all of us to escape together. I want to fulfill my duties as the ultimate maid. I wish to serve everyone. So please believe me. You have to. Kirumi. Crocodile tears. Um, are we totally sure Kirumi's the culprit? <laughs> That's why Papa left. <laughs> Mama stopped lying. That's why Papa left. Are we sure Kokichi isn't the culprit? <laughs> How rude. I, Gota just can't believe Kirumi would kill Ryuma. Kirumi's breakfast were the best. She always treated us so well. I don't think she did it out of malice. She really is like a mom. Perhaps it was after she gained our trust that she saw her chance to strike. You really are screwed up. Screwed up from head to toe. Even through your clothes, I can tell. Shuichi, please reconsider suspecting me as the culprit. I won't, and you can't make me, even though I love you. You only suspect me because I was at the gym during nighttime yesterday, correct? But you cannot accuse me of being the culprit with that insufficient proof. I accuse you because you fucking... You just make the impossible possible. It is still possible for Maki and Kaito to have gone to the gym. They do not have alibis. We're talking about a woman who apparently took over a small country before. They could have pretended to help Himiko, but secretly prepared the murder. Also, I can't fully trust her because she looks a lot like Monica. Anyways. When you put it that way, it does seem possible. We can't accuse Kirumi just based on our alibis. Guys, maybe suspecting Kirumi is wrong. Maybe we should think it over one more time. <laughs> Bug panic is sad. <laughs> I made a promise. As the ultimate detective, I made a promise to seek the truth. I made a promise to Kaede, so I'm not turning back now. What? LC, what do you mean by LC? What? DDLC, what are you talking about? I'm talking about from Ultra Despair Girls. What are you talking about? So it's up to me. I have to do it. I have to protect Detective Work. 
I've used my detective work to so prove you it. Still believe I am the culprit? But there is no evidence to indicate that I am. No, there is. I have proof that you're the culprit. I realized it when we determined that the rope wake was used to move the body. If it was indeed Kirumi who moved the body with a makeshift rope wake, then the final clue falls into place. Sorry, different game. What game were you talking about? I might know it. That proves Kirumi is the culprit. Shuichi, won't you please tell me why you are so desperate to pin me as the culprit? Don't you want to protect everyone? I'm doing this because I want to Doki Doki everyone. Literature Club. Haven't played it yet. I've been thinking about it. I've been thinking about it. Uh, what was it? I think last Christmas I thought I was going to play it. But then I changed my mind on it. And then this year they announced Doki Doki Plus, which is out now. So maybe October, November, I might play it. I kind of want to wait till the hype for the game dies down because, you know... We don't need another Undertale on our hands, for fuck's sake. Oh, God. Sweet. Then you're wrong. Your deduction is all wrong. Your words aren't going to convince me now. Not when I know the truth. All you care about is your own reasoning. You don't even listen to others. So feminine with grace, so touch your body. You hear me say, boy, let me be your woman. Let me be your woman. Woman, woman, woman. What the f- Is that a song lyric? I can't bet everyone's lives on a deduction made by a self-righteous brat. You can't save anyone! It's a song. No more doubts. I'm confident I'm right. I'm gonna pr I'm gonna present everyone the evidence that proves she's guilty. Here's a guilty bitch! I love you, Karumi. Love you. This is it. I love you. The piece of black fabric in the pool. That's the final clue that proves you're guilty. It's been bothering me for a while. I couldn't figure out what it was. I thought it was just trash at first, but I couldn't dismiss it entirely. Now that the class trial has come this far, I know for certain. It's an important piece of the puzzle. Because like the inner two, it's evidence the culprit couldn't dispose of. Huh? Why not? It was in the pool. Using the ropeway, you could slide the inner tube from the lab to the gym. But how would you control it? If it kept sliding and hit the window, the momentum would have thrown the body off. To prevent that from happening, the culprit needed some way to adjust the speed. For example, the culprit could have used their hands for friction. That would have fucking hurt. Yeah, so what? You're still wrong. Your logic is flawed. Kirumi, why are you becoming increasingly erratic? Kirumi, why are you sweating? And not the way I want you to. There is such absolute beauty <laughs> rope burn. Oh, rope burn is so him. fucking bad. What? Truth. That black cloth is just trash. You can't prove I'm the culprit with just that. No, it's not just trash. It's proof that you're the culprit. <laughs> Thanks for the follow, Yumizu. Greatly appreciate it. Find out how the black fabric fits into the dabba 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 do. Find out how the black fabric fits into, into this is the key of everything. I couldn't read tonight. I swear. You check my other videos out, I'm pretty okay at reading. Tonight's just been a terrible night for me. Oh, what the hell? She's a knight you with a broom. Oh, God. What that is, is weird. Truth? Timing on. Oh, you got to hold it? Wait, what? Wait, what? Your empty deduction. Hold up. You continue to confuse everyone. You are incorrect. I'm having like a hard time here. Ugh, what is this truth? What the fuck is this shit? That is just your empty deduction. You continue to confuse everyone. You oh, I didn't even see that one. Shit. 
Oh, that's how you do that. Okay, that's weird. Everyone's life is at stake because of your self-righteous truth. Oh, that was a whole shit. In this class trial, everyone's life is at stake because of your self-righteous truth. Everyone might die. <laughs> I completely understand your reasoning. But I will never accept it. It seems you wish to pin me as the culprit. You do not have any evidence. You are only providing us with speculation. You only wish to protect everyone. Why must you interfere? I completely understand your reasoning. But I will never accept it. It seems you wish to pin me as the culprit. You that one was delayed. Enemies. That was a delayed We're rhythm. You're an asshole for that. Ah! Alright, what am I doing? What does that piece of trash prove? Oh, what what? There you go. Ends here. <laughs> oh, I seem very cool. I seem very cool. Thank you. <laughs> The piece of fabric came from Kiwami's All I can say is I try my best, question mark, maybe? I'm not sure. <laughs> and yes, Mongo, you are cool too. Kiwami's glove? Kiwami has gloves. It would have been just... It would have been decreased the burn. It would have decreased the burn, but still... What is her... Is her gloves leather? Because they don't look leather. Than, are they leather? If they're leather, then... If I'll take it. Were slowing if they're not leather, the then there's no hands. fucking way that would deduce the burn by that much. There would have been a lot of Did I say deduce? Reduce, my bad. Cause rope burn. But our culprit was smart. They weren't burned because they weren't barehanded. Yeah, the culprit had gloves on. One got all torn up from the friction and... And it fell into pool? From what I remember, the only one who wears black gloves is Kirumi. Right. The gloves on your hands now. I take it they're from your dorm? The extra uniforms in our rooms are made of the same material we're wearing now. We can test my theory by comparing the fabric scrap with your glove. <laughs> well, Kirumi, will you allow us to compare the black fabric we found in the pool with your gloves? Just go with dignity, girl. Huh? What's the matter? Why are you sweating so much? Kirumi, what's wrong? <laughs> this must be like eating her up on the inside. Because I don't think she's a bad person. In the end, I'm just... I'm just like them. I'm scared of revealing the truth. Because it means that someone has to be sacrificed. But Kaede was scared too. She didn't let that stop her. She thought things through to the end. I faced the truth and doubted it. Kept, th kept thinking and kept going. This is where it led me, and I won't turn away from it. I will show you the truth. Ah! Uh, stream is going way longer than I thought it would. <laughs> Carried the rope. All right, hold up. What are we doing? Evidence made of made of what? Evidence made of metal that the piranhas didn't eat. What do I have available to me right now? Handcuff victim, friction on gloves. All right, so where is it? Oh, how did I pronounce that? Postscript. Thank you. Thank you very much. I greatly appreciate it. I feel weird whenever I say that. I feel like I'm being disingenuous, but I'm not. I love you guys. Thank you. Oh, uh, what would you transport the body? Getting the brakes was tougher than expected. Throw that up there. And this one is... Where was the body carried to? So I have handcuff victim and... Prana swimming in tank. Which is... Was used transport funny. 
before the murder, what was put in the victim's wrists. What was used as, as a partition in the tank. Culprit took from Jen. Let's see, that's the middle. Where the fuck do I put the piranhas at? I'm looking for the piranhas. Took from the pool. Where was the body carried? Where the fuck would I put the piranhas at? Okay, whatever. I'll come back to that then. Okay, gym window frame and rope. Right there. Rubber inner tube. Wait, what? What was used to transport the body on the ropeway? What? <laughs> Wasn't it the tube? It was taken from the pool. Okay. Gonna listen gonna listen to the playthrough to sleep. Oh thank you. <laughs> I appreciate it. I have a YouTube with a lot of things going on right now. Well I say a lot of things. But not really that much. If you ever need more content while I'm not live streaming, I have the YouTube. Right now I'm playing through Psychonauts because this month Psychonauts 2 comes out and I would love to play Psychonauts 2. Been waiting years for that fucking game. Uh, what's this? Carried rope. Piranha tank lid. Use that. Crop I took from the gym. Took from the gym, it was the rope, right? Yep. Metal handcuffs in the water. What was used to transport the body? Well, that would be this, right? So. Where was the body carried to? There you go. What's the last one? Hanging inner tube. There we go. This is the truth of the case. Play the what? Body was oh, found Psychonauts. This morning during Himiko's underwater escape act. All right, I'm gonna be quiet for this whole thing because I love how these things play out. So I'm not gonna make a sound. Just entertain yourselves with an awesome comic. When we saw the piranhas in the tank, we thought that Himiko's escape failed. Of course, it was all part of the act. Himiko's escape went perfectly. But when Angie opened the curtain in front of the tank, we saw Ryoma with piranhas swarming around him. Before any of us could react, the piranhas devoured Ryoma's body. All that was left were his bones and the handcuffs he was wearing. That horrifying sight was the finishing touch on the culprit's own twisted magic trick. The culprit obfuscated the time and place of the murder, implicating Himiko in the process. In truth, the crime began last night, around 8.55 p.m. While preparing for the show in the gym, the culprit had a chance to be alone. It was then that the culprit used the ladder to reach the piranha tank and removed the glass lid to put inside the tank. They used it as a partition to force the piranhas to one side of the tank. Next, the culprit took the rope from the stage wing in the gym. And used the ladder once more, 
this time to climb up to the gym's window. Once there, they opened the window and tied one end of the rope to the window frame. The rope was then thrown out the window toward the pool. These preparations were key for the culprit's elaborate plan. At nighttime, past midnight, the culprit asked Ryoma to meet at his lab. All the pieces were in place. The culprit was ready to murder. First, the culprit knocked Ryoma out, probably striking him from behind. Then, they put the handcuffs from the shower room on Ryoma's wrists. And shoved his head into the sink filled with water. From the water and the pain of drowning, Ryoma should have woken up and struggled. The culprit anticipated his resistance which is why Ryoma was handcuffed. The struggle left scrapes on the cuffs and sink, but in the end, Ryoma succumbed. Ryoma was dead, but the culprit's plan had only just begun. They removed the cable from the tennis net and hung it from the window facing the pool. And then, at the pool, they connected the wire and the rope from the gym window. They returned to the lab after picking up one last thing. The rubber inner tube that was in the pool's tool shed. Once back in the lab, the culprit pulled the cable, bringing up the rope. They pulled until the rope was taut, then tied it to the lab's window frame. And thus, the gym and the lab windows were connected by a single rope. After making a hanger of sorts with another length of rope tied to the inner tube, they hung the inner tube on the rope connecting the windows. That's how the culprit created the ropeway that was used to move the body. An impressive premeditated murder, but the culprit made two crucial mistakes. The culprit got on the inner tube with Ryoma's body and slid toward the gym. With the height difference between the windows, they would have built up quite some speed. To avoid crashing through the window, the culprit used a brake. They used their own hand to grip the rope and slow down. That would have caused significant rope burn had the culprit not been wearing gloves. But due to the friction, part of a glove tore off and dropped in the pool. Regardless, the culprit reached the window and put Ryoma's body into the piranha tank. The glass pane not only kept the piranhas and the body separated, it also kept the piranhas so close together, they concealed the body. After that, all the culprit had to do was untie the rope and the inner tube. 
But that's when they made their second mistake. One end of the rope came loose, and the inner tube dropped into the pool. Thus, the culprit was forced to leave two key pieces of evidence, the fabric and the inner tube. They couldn't retrieve the evidence because of the rule against swimming at nighttime. And that's the whole story. Am I wrong, Kirumi Tojo? The ultimate maid? And there you have it. Kirumi, that's the conclusion uh. I reached. It feels so weird being quiet for that long. <laughs> but I, I want people to enjoy the comic, right? Now, what the hell did I miss? By the way, you want big follows? Go buy them at bigfollows.com. My God. I want the biggest of follows. Jesus. <laughs> uh, why did, How did they know the exact time when Ryoma was killed? They don't know the exact time. They know the time frame. And we got there because we lied about... um. We lied about, well, we lied about being a witness to Maki meeting with Ryoma, even though that was a lie, Maki meeting with Ryoma was a truth. And that helped solidify the time frame. Uh, what else did I miss? I don't think I missed anything. This is very, very unfortunate, Shuichi. My pride as a maid demands that I fulfill every request that I receive. But to end like this... Does that mean you admit it? Kirumi... Why use your own gloves, though? The warehouse should have had plenty. She wanted to be caught. There weren't any. Obviously, she would have used them if they were available. Jeez, Monokuma provided everything but the gloves. That's pretty sadistic. But thanks to him, at least the game became way more interesting. So, it's decided. This case was decided the moment someone, who shall not be named, opened their big mouth. Wow. But we, we don't know that. Maybe the real culprit is someone nobody expects. That is right. No need to worry. What the fuck? <laughs> Dragon Ball has been added to my downloads. <laughs> what? Did I not? I don't think I put my my notifications on on mute on mute. Yeah, I guess. Fuck. All right, let's go. I haven't even played Dragon Ball in months. I've been playing Guilty Gear Strive. Fuck. I'm not even gonna hesitate. Sorry, Krimi. You're gone. Love you, girl. Now then, it seems the voting has finished. Let's see the result. Dragon Ball has been updated. Voted for me. Who will be chosen as the blackened? Will you make the right you salty or the bitch? Dreadfully <laughs> wrong one? <laughs> Damn it.
Nothing but A's, baby. Nothing but A's. Alright. Sadly, I don't want to end the stream here, but I literally have no choice but to end the stream here instead of uh, us being able to see the execution. <laughs> I really would love to, but I, I honestly have no time. I literally have no time. So, um, and like literally in like five minutes, my background's gonna become like super loud. So, um, I'm gonna end it here. <laughs> I'm gonna have to end it here. I don't want to, right? Um, for those of you who watched live, thank you very much. I appreciate it wholeheartedly. For those watching the VODs, hope it's entertaining enough for you. And for those on YouTube, try come and watch it live because when I live stream these games, it takes me a while to put them on YouTube. But yeah, for anyone who wants to see more stuff, in the meantime, while I'm not streaming, I do have a YouTube channel and I do have a Twitter, I'm trying to be more active on Twitter and on YouTube. Right now, uh, recently I just finished a uh, playthrough of Jimmy Neutron Attack of the Twonkies. <laughs> and right now we're going through the first Psychonauts doing 100% run of that. And, um, you know, in, pre in preparation for Psychonauts 2, because I want to play that game. And, uh, what else is it? Oh, my stream schedule. Don't, like, the best thing I can say about that is probably come and check back and just see what's going on because even though my screen, my stream says, uh, my stream schedule is set, it's there. Not everything is set in stone and uh, some nights I just may not be able to stream. So just come peek in. If I'm not live, maybe wait like 30 minutes and then come back. And if I'm not live, then I'm probably not going live at all that night. And uh, speaking of that, tonight is kind of iffy whether I'll stream or not because I got called into my night shift at work. So it's my choice whether to take that shift or not. I might take it because you know, I can use a little money, right? But um, if I don't, I'll be streaming. But if I do take that night shift... The next stream will be, um, will be what? It will be Wednesday night, Thursday morning, right? And then after that, it wouldn't be until like the next Monday. So that's where the YouTube comes in handy, I guess. So you guys can check stuff out while I'm not being live. So I think that's everything I wanted to say. So as always... Thank you guys for watching. I greatly appreciate it. And I will see you. Wait, hold up. What happened? <laughs> How dare you? I'm gonna ask Himiko to set your <laughs> set my pants on fire. Jesus. Uh this Wednesday. Yeah, it would be for the West Coast. This is United States times. For the West Coast, it would probably be like eleven PM at night on Wednesday. If, if I don't do it tonight, if it's not Tuesday, 11 p.m. and Wednesday, 2 in the morning, Eastern, then it if it's not that day, then it's going to be Wednesday, 11 p.m. at night for the West Coast and for the East Coast. It's going to be 2, 2 o'clock in the morning or maybe like 2.30 because uh, sometimes I'm late at starting my streams. So, yeah, there's that. Other than that, I'm going to try and upload maybe kind of daily on YouTube. Um trying to get more time for that so there's that so as always i want to thank you guys for watching and i will see you in the next video stay happy stay healthy and take care i'm a chef what else should i be please don't take off